Hi everybody, this is Bob, and uh, I, uh, I, as some of you are probably aware that uh, I had an 80-foot tower up, and that uh, uh, about a week before Christmas, we had a tremendous wind. I, I don't remember the exact date, but I do recall that there was a lot of damage done in uh, Kentucky and southern Indiana and all over the place uh, due to an extremely strong weather front that came through. So anyhow, getting this torch ready. Anyhow, I, uh, I lost my tower in that and finally got everything down and taken apart and all. I did not intend to put it back up. I had already told my wife uh, that I turn 80 this summer and I didn't want to be climbing towers, so this summer I was going to take the tower down anyway. So uh, I, I, it just came down earlier than expected, that's all. So anyhow, I, I'm going to put up a short tower in the summer. And uh, I was thinking I would like to have an antenna for 6 meters. So I'm going to make a uh, cubicle quad. I've got the uh, wires cut for the quad elements here. It's going to be a 4 element quad. And I got these cut to the exact length that I need for that. But then I got to uh, looking at this wire that I have here, which is very heavy enameled wire. It's, it's number 14. And this wire was designed for winding electric motors. I bought it at a ham fest. I bought a few pounds of it, which is enough for the job. And the insulation on here is a very, very tough insulation. And it will take quite a high temperature. So uh, anyhow I started using a knife and scraping this off and wow that's a lot of work. And not only that but I got done scraping, scraping, scraping and scraping and uh, it was really rough on my fingers. That's why I have these heavy leather gloves on. And then I realized when I got all done that there was still bits of uh, insulation here and there on the wire and that kind of bugged me too. So I got to thinking, I thought, what would happen if I was to heat this wire, get it really hot with, uh, excuse me for bending in front of the camera here, I left my rag over here on the other side of the bench, but uh, if I was to heat that up with a propane torch, would this come off? So I decided to try it. So I got a piece of wire here, and I'm going to show you what I discovered, and I thought it was really nice. Uh, because it, it does such a good job. So here's got my torch. There we go. And I'm putting the wire in like that so I get it and I got it touching it onto the uh, torch tip there but you can see the insulation is burning right off of the enamel wire. This wire is so hard to strip. Like that, get it really good and hot, and then I take a rag. See, now if I didn't have these heavy gloves on, I wouldn't be able to hold that. And there I, you can see I can pull most of it off just with the rag. Now this is one of those little scrubbing uh, sponge things that you get for your dishes. Uh, it's got a rough surface kind of, but not really, really, it's not like sandpaper, but it's for cleaning dishes and things. I think a Brillo pad would work for this too, or some fine steel wool. But you saw how quickly that, that burned. And then you take this to it. And just a few rubs, and look how nice that is. So I just wanted to show you, and I'm going to strip the... Uh, the insulation back that far on these uh, quad elements when I wire them up because I've got a little extra wire a couple inches on each one so that I can change the length a little bit. So then I'm going to slide a electrical connector on there uh, just a piece of uh, tubing, electrical tubing. I've got these little connectors that crimp on and I can pull the plastic uh, off of them real easy with my wire cutters or cut it off. I'm going to slide one of those on there, move it back and forth if it requires tuning, and uh, see what I'm reading with a field, st field strength meter and all. That'll be something neat to play with this summer. Anyhow, the idea is that uh, once I find the axial dimension that is the best for 
operation, lowest SWR, the best uh, signal coming out the front of the quad, then I will just solder over that and, uh, and make the joint. But I wanted to show you how to take that insulation off. I thought that was cool. I thought of that this morning as I was having breakfast and I had never tried it. And I thought, wow, I'm going to try that. And did it work nice? Because this is that real high temperature wire used for winding electric motors. And it's hard to get that enamel off of this stuff. So that's it, guys. 73s and good DX.